back everyone let's talk more about the loop the loop we are going to be learning today is called the for loop and it is powerful for a variety of different reasons the power of a for loop is that you can call a certain amount of code a certain amount of times let's take a look at a for loop almost every for loop has a variable within a loop in most cases it's an i if you look at the for loop there are three sections for the for loop if you look at the brackets the semicolons act as markers between sections the first section is declaring the variable, the second section is how many times the loop will repeat, and the third section tells the variable to count up. Alright, this may be a lot to take in, so let's slow down for a second. There are two items that we need to discuss before we go on further. We have talked a little bit about variable scope, but the variable i can only be seen in the loop. It is more of an advanced concept, but variables can sometimes be seen in different places of the code. This means that the variable i cannot be seen outside of the code. Also, do you see the i++? This tells the computer to add 1 to the variable i. The plus plus or minus minus either adds 1 or subtracts 1 every time it is called. Here, I have put the loop in plain English. We can easily think of a loop like this instead of all that code. This is a for loop in standard English. So let's compare a standard English loop to an actual loop. We can also add in a variable to step 2 of the loop. The most important number is the number 6 in this case. This is how many times the loop repeats. So that's how you use a for loop. You will see many kinds of loops when you are coding. I'll see you in the next tutorial.